Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. So today, I'm going to talk to you guys about sleeping with the enemy. Mm -hmm. It's not just a movie, y'all. It's not just a movie, trust. Are you sleeping with the enemy? Have you ever slept with the enemy? I can tell you from personal experience. I'm not making this shit up. Okay. I can tell you from personal experience. I have slept with the enemy. Okay. And I'm going to let you guys know. Look at that. You heard that horn. You better testify, sus. Okay. That was confirmation right there from spirit. But anywho, moving on. Okay. I can share with you guys a story from my past that not a lot of people know about, because you know a lot of people don't know a lot about me, because none of y'all business. But I'm sharing and letting you guys know, because I feel like my experience can help. And maybe you might realize like, oh shit, I'm sleeping with the enemy too. And you might need to get the fuck up out of there. You know, either way it go, I got you, bro. I got you, sis. So this my experience of sleeping with the enemy was my first marriage, which I like to call my practice marriage, which I'm just so thankful that I made it through that. Okay. So when I met my ex-husband, first of all, it was just, you know, perfect timing for him. I was freshly heartbroken, you know, on the, I, I was, I can't even say I was on a rebound because I was just heartbroken or whatever. And, um, I actually met him through a friend. That's why y'all got to watch out sometimes people who you call friends and the type of people that they put into your life. Because sometimes people will say that they are your friends and they will purposely introduce you to somebody that they know is going to bring you down because they are jealous or they don't want to see you do better or whatever, or they ugly. Nine times out of 10, it's mostly those three. But anyway, so yeah, I met this guy, a Caucasian too, you know what I'm saying? So y'all don't call me racist when I be saying my ignorant white people shit. I just be playing, okay? And I talk about all the races because we are all one in my eyes. And I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Moving on. Yeah, so I met him and it was just like a whirlwind. I was young. I was like, hey, well, you know, I'm being dramatic because I'm an Aries. I was like, I just lost the love of my life. I'll never get married again. I might as well have the experience just to say I can have it. What was me? Whatever the fuck. Okay, married this dude. And it's like he literally went from Prince Charming to fucking, uh, is it Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, whichever one of the motherfuckers. Both shit. Because kind of find out he was crazy. Crazy. And I'm not talking about how y'all be laughing. He, he, ha, 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 you so crazy. No, he really was bad shit. But that's another story, another time, guys. But I ended up losing everything. Everything. Yes. That's how you, hey, that's how you know you're sleeping with the enemy, hun. When you just start losing stuff. I was very bountiful. You know, I was doing well for myself before I met him. W wonderful. And I ended up losing my job. He wrecked my car, drained my bank account. You name it, it happened. But you know, we were married. And I was like, okay, so death do its part, whatever, whatever. But there's sometimes you have to know when to throw in the towel with people. I understand these vows and everything, a relationship, a marriage, whatever type of union that you choose to have and establish between yourself and your significant other, that is fine. But once you realize that the person is bringing you down, that they mean you more harm than well, you are sleeping with the enemy, honey. You are sleeping with the enemy. Alrighty? And if somebody does not have your best intentions at heart, you need to go. If somebody does not have their own best intentions in heart, at heart towards themselves and towards you in regards with you, you need to go. You need to go, sis, because it ain't even right. Somebody who can't love themselves and treat themselves right cannot love you and treat you right. It just does not work that way. There is no such dynamic. It does not. Okay. Ain't nobody got time for that. Me, what happened with me, because I know y'all was curious. Um, basically, uh, that didn't work out. I left him quick, fast, in a hurry. You know, um, he was, uh, 
what is it called? He was very, you know, I would say verbally, emotionally abusive. And in turn, that caused me to be physically abusive towards him. And that's how you know you sleep with the enemy as well. If somebody causes you to, you know, act outside of your character or do things that you don't want to do or that you don't feel you should do in a relationship, then you need to leave. Your partner, your significant other should bring out the best in you, not the worst, not the worst. Okay, and when you talk to somebody and you tell them, you make them abreast of the situation, but you got to come with your facts. Don't just be being dramatic and extra. You know, I have my facts. I tried to work it out like a good wife. I was an excellent wife, by the way, guys. FYI, because I know it's a few of y'all out there wondering. I'm an excellent wife. I don't, I don't beat my men anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, after a while, you just have to let it go. You just have to let it go. Once you make the person abreast of the situation and how things are going and how it's working out and not working out and you see no change and it still just continues to be a toxic, disruptive cycle, you continue to lose assets, sleep, health. My health started declining. My hair started falling out. Okay, I was sick all the time, stressed. I righty, had a miscarriage. Thank God it was a blessing in disguise, y'all. It really was because sometimes people try to, you know, bring babies into the situation when they know it's not going to work, when they know it's toxic, when they know that they're going to lose the other person. That seems to be the thing people want to do. They be like, oh, let me have a baby. Let me get this person pregnant. Babies do not heal relationships. They do not. They do not. Why would you want to add an innocent life into the bullshit? Okay, the Lord saw fit and took that poor child's life to heaven. Because that nigga wasn't right, okay? So he had to go. Your girl free because she don't play that shit with anybody. And guys, I need you to not play that shit with anybody either. If you know you're sleeping with the enemy, if you know you're sleeping with the enemy, get the fuck out of there, okay? Don't do yourself like that, you know? If, if anything, just indulge in BDSM if you like unnecessary pain and all the other kinky shit, all right? But with that being said, talk to y'all later, okay? Love y'all.